Hi, I'm Kat. And I'm going to be trying on more brand new capes. Hair is <laughs> in the way. Okay. Well, now they're dusty capes. Damn it. I dropped it on the ground. I cannot wait to get this garage done. And then I can give it a thorough cleaning. Your head got in there. Don't do that. Your head gets in there. What? What's wrong? Oh. I gotta fix myself. Oh. I can cut that part off. Don't worry. <gasps> ah! I stabbed myself. Did I just ruin my skirt? Oh. Damn it. I did. <sighs> what? You wouldn't just be all like... Uh, assistance. <laughs> I can't believe I ruined my skirt. I can't get another one. Vintage. A lot of my stuff is vintage. Anyway, so again, the capes you see in this video uh, will be offered for sale on eBay um, within the next week or something, whenever I have time. So here is a black vinyl case and it has velcro so we'll see how many of these I can put on in a half an hour have half an hour okay this one I think is for men because there's this much of a gap uh, of course I'm little too that makes a difference And I will show off the back. Let's see, how did I do this last time? <laughs> All right. Good, good. So there's this nice one. And it is warmer in the garage than last time. Someone asked me in the last video, because I'm wearing like satin and silk, if I sweat more, I guess I'm going to have your answer. Okay, so here's this cape. So the black cape is probably another Benko cape. Most of these capes were Benko from back in like the 50s and 60s. And this one is... Oh, it's not a cape. It is. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is a darling smock. And look how shiny that is. And it has <gasps> Velcro. Um the back twice. So that way you get to be all nice and tight and have it formed for your body. And it has a deep pocket. Look at that. Mmm, very cool. Let's see. Jonathan says, are you getting your hair washed today? Uh, I will tonight. Let's see. Uh, okay, you have to forgive me. I cannot see what I'm doing in the back, so I'm not going to be able to... Oh, wait, wait. I can probably feel it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Awesome. Ooh. Cool. All right. I'm trying to decide if I want to have the colors out or in. We'll leave them in. So this is this one. Let's see. <laughs> My assistant is taking photos. Okay. And then can you see from back here? I'll take those yes. All right. Very, very cute. Yeah, I was, I'm very surprised by this one. I wasn't expecting this to be uh, an operator smock or a hairdressing smock. Very cool. I've never seen one like this before. Okay, so. <laughs> Here is a pink one. Look at this. Look at this beautiful 
like baby pastel pink. Very femmy in my opinion. I'll just open this up. Being very careful not to cut <laughs> the product or myself. Done that once already. Okay, so I think this one's a little different. But I mean, look at the color. So this one, this is what I mean by it being a little different. So it has these like little metal grommets and so it ties. <laughs> if you need to go take care of the dog, go for it. That's fine. You can go ahead. <laughs> I got distracted. Okay, so this is a really, really cute one. Uh, let's see. So, probably bring this through here. Or no, it... Oh, this is so interesting. I'm going to have to figure this out. Okay, so it looks like... <laughs> it dies. Yes, but I was looking at... Because there's another hole, another grommet. Fine, I'm just going to tie it nicely. But, of course, when I sell these, if someone decides they want to just uh, put snaps on it, they could. It's very easy to add snaps to anything. You can just get the kind that comes on a ribbon and sew it. Okay. Because this isn't as tight as I would like it to be. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> ah! Okay, I suck at tying. One second. <laughs> wow, this is almost sheer. It's like this really adorable. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck it in here. One second. I'm gonna fake it. I don't have my uh, little clippies. There we go. And then we'll go through the back. So yes, that's interesting how it ties. Not my favorite, but that can easily be fixed. Oh. So yeah, some of these I have duplicates of, so I'm keeping one. <laughs> and I think I will make mine into snaps. But I love the color. It's just, like I said, it's a beautiful, semi pink. Pastel pink. <laughs> really nice. Oops, I'm sitting on the bag. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like, and of course it says shampoo cape. So, there you go. Oh wait, this is Diane. Oh, interesting. Cool. Okay, now here, I couldn't believe this one. I saw this and I grabbed it immediately. And I highly doubt you will ever see one of these capes ever again. You'll see why in a few moments. It is definitely one of a kind. So it's another Benko product. Nice vinyl shampoo cape but wait until you see what's on the cape i was blown away but i could never really use it in a hair video because of copyright laws and all that but wait till you see this oh my god okay if you love like the beauties of the 20s and the 30s you've got to see this cape it is amazing once i can open it <laughs> Brand new old stock and oh my god, just amazing. I was like flipping for joy when I saw this. Okay, see if you can recognize the people on here. Okay, so the wonderful celebrities of yesteryear. So, uh, 
let's see. I, I, oh yeah, there's a wizard. There's a Tin Man. And then I know um, Greta Garbo is in here somewhere. And then um, I saw Groucho Marx somewhere. You're pointing at somebody. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Shirley Temple. I can't see. I'm tiny glasses. So yeah, there's just this amazing variety. <laughs> So, yeah, look at that. And, oh my goodness, it's the Little Rascals. So, yeah, so I think most of these are, oh, is that from uh, Gone with the Wind? <laughs> you can talk into a different voice if you have to. That way you can talk, So I, because I, I don't know what you're saying. My assistant is driving me crazy. So, oh, I think there's Marilyn Monroe right there. So yeah, just an incredible cape. <laughs> Amazing, one of a kind because yeah, you don't see these anymore. And so I'm thinking this cape was probably made definitely um, back in the 50s. It had to, even earlier maybe, I don't know. I wish I could find more information about this company. But there it is. Wonderful black and white cape of all these really cool celebrities. Okay, and this has Velcro closure. Oh, and it has a nice little loop for hanging. Very cool. Oh, there's some blackface on here too. Oh. Uh, my apologies, I just saw that now. Oh, and there's a uh, Laurel and Harley. Har ah. Laurel and, yeah, Hardy, I think. It's been so long. But yes, a very, very cool cape. Okay, so we'll go into the next one. Let's see. So this one is another sample. So I don't believe we're sold to the public at all. So only salons and barber shops would get these for testing, I believe. And so this is a Hess uh, vinyl shampoo cape. Ooh la la. Let's open up this one and see what this one is. like my birthday or Christmas. All these little treasures. So this is a black, very shiny cape. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so this one has well, thank you, Seaman. He says he likes it. Um, this one has, this one has, ah, uh, uh, snaps. So I'm gonna guess probably plastic snaps, but snaps nonetheless. <gasps> and a loop for hanging. Oh, I like that. Let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, let me go with this way. <laughs> Both sides are very shiny. Trying to go quick. My assistant is sweating really badly. I don't think he's a happy camper at the moment.
So there's this one. Oh, there we go. Thought it was going to be stuck in that one. With it being as warm as it is, this would not be fun to be kind of trapped in. <laughs> At least not right now. Or if I wanted to punish myself, then I could put myself underneath a hot chair hair dryer with this on. What is the next one? Okay, so this one is called a cobbler apron. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see. There we go. You can kind of see it. And I did not fall out of the chair, so that is a plus for me. Oh, wait, it opens in the back. Good, good. Oh, <laughs> I don't need the scissors. So I am curious what a cobbler apron is. Alright, so I will pump down the chair a little bit because I'm getting a notification that... Come on, just relax. There we go. <laughs> there, are you happy? like this. There. Okay, so what is this? Okay. It is some, it's a, it's a short smock vinyl. Has lots of things to tie. Reminds me of a doctor's gown. <laughs> And it's like this baby blue color. Okay, I'm guessing this ties in back. I'm just gonna do the one tie. And I'll probably do this tie very poorly. Let's see. I need to go back to kindergarten so I can learn how to tie. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna tie it from the back so you can't see. So here we go. Here is this cute little number, which I tied very poorly. Okay. All right. Okay, and we'll do one of me standing with it. I'm not going to show off the back. So there's that. So cute. Interesting. Oh, and it has like a texture to it. Okay, so here's another blue one. So this one is the Shampoo Cape by Alden Sundries. It's also it says nylon thread to resist chemicals. That's always good. Oops. Don't want to lose that. So nice, pretty blue. And so this one has a the hook closure. on there. Ooh, they go on nicely. This is actually kind of nice. It snapped in there really well.
Let's see. So, John says... Oh, sorry. <laughs> your comma disappeared way too quick. Let's see. When are you getting your 1920s inspired haircut? Yeah, so I need to shoot a few videos yet, because I promised to shoot some videos with my long hair. Uh, and then I can get my hair cut. So. Oh, trust me, I want this done. I... I've already told a few people that I'm getting my hair cut. Um, very, very short. Because there's many things I like to do, but my hair gets in the way. I <laughs> am not a long hair gal. I prefer short hair. Oh, I can't wait. I'm hoping for September I had to push back things because it's either been way too hot, or it's been raining, um, or my assistant has been gone, so... Uh, yeah. It will be done this year. Okay, so here's another one. So this looks like a gold color. Let's see. Oh, let's see. No? Okay. Thought I'd maybe done this one already, but I have not. Okay, best way to open this. I guess it's right here. And I hope to get that haircut done in a barber shop. Okay, so here's this. And this is also another vinyl one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's three. Oh my goodness. So there will be three of these going up on eBay. Wow, I got a really good deal on this. Holy crap. Okay, who knew? So this one is uh, this brand. Okay, you can see that. So it is gold with little stars. And it has Velcro. And uh, I don't know, I won't even count that as a loop. There's just too little. It's too little. Oh, and this is a nice soft vinyl. <laughs> what time is it? I know we're on a time crunch. Oh, we're over? Time? Okay, good. So, wow. This one just, like, conforms to my body. This is a nice cape. And I think, yeah, there's another way. Well, I guess either way works. So you can give your, like, whoever's in the chair a nice, like, gold star treatment. <laughs> Since this is gold and it has stars. Yeah, I know. I just killed the joke right there. I'm good at that. And... See, I will fold up. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this. Oh, neat. Yeah, it probably is from the seventies. Yeah, because all these capes uh, are definitely vintage. You can't really find this kind of quality or cool patterns anymore. So here's another one. So this one just says comb out. So this would be a comb out cape. Oh, I don't know if you can see that very well. What, five minutes? Okay, so I have five minutes. So this might be the last one for today. So I'll have to shoot another video of me trying on all these capes that will then go on eBay. So I'm doing this because I had so many people over the years. What? Oh, okay. Yes, I see the box there. Thank you. Because I had so many people over the years who were like, Cat, I love your capes. Where do you get them? I want to buy them from you. And I'm like, no, I'm not selling my capes anymore. I made that mistake. Not doing that again. So I bought, like, a lot. Went around to three different places. Bought a bunch of vintage capes. That way I can sell them for... Um, or put them on eBay. So that way you guys can have, like, the, the treats I get. So this is a pink. That's bigger than... 
like the usual Kumo capes that I usually get. Oh, and it's the hook ones, which is kind of nice. Because with these, you can make it as tight as you need it to be. And they, like, clamp on there so well because the, the hooks have, like, little teeth to it. And then here's from the back. All right. Hope you got that. <laughs> okay, so this is the last cape I can show for today. Um, I will show you, like, I'll give you a little um, preview of for next time, once I get this one off. Yeah, it's definitely more fun to have somebody else hate me, but <laughs> as you can see, there's not really enough room in here for another person to be behind me. So, well, we didn't really get through a whole lot today, but there is, let me just show you really quick. Ah! Okay, there's a lot of yellows in here, but, so... Oh, actually, there's only one, two, three, four, five more capes left. So I'll be back next time and show off these five remaining capes. So ooh, there's a silver, a mm, couple bright yellows, <gasps> another pink, and it's a black one, but it has like almost like water or tiger stripes. Very cool. <laughs> oh, so yes, that'll be for next time, and I'm dropping stuff on the floor. So thank you so much for joining and watching me try on all these different capes. Uh, they will be on eBay probably, probably maybe next week or so. Uh, definitely watch my eBay page and uh, yeah, good luck bidding. And I hope you win something fun for yourself or for your special someone. All right, have a great weekend. Bye.